I think it's time for another update on my seedlings. I've got two mini greenhouses in front of me. To your right, this is the first batch of seedlings that I sowed. I'm not sure how many weeks it has been since then. I would guess somewhere around uh, five or six or seven, somewhere there. It has been quite a while since the last update and I think you deserve another. To be honest, there's not much to update you with other than showing you how much they've grown since then. So before I show you this, let's talk about this second greenhouse. So this second greenhouse is freshly sown. I actually worked on this yesterday after arriving from work. This greenhouse contains the seeds from my own hybrids. In other words, these are the seeds from the plants that I pollinated myself. Out of the five plants that I pollinated, only four of them were ready for harvesting. On one of them, the flowers were still quite wet. Uh, they weren't... I don't think they had seeds yet. So I'm leaving that one for now and I'll wait until it's ready. Because of that, there's, a, there's going to be a different schedule for this. And I haven't filled up all of the cells because I didn't pollinate that much flowers anyway. So let's leave it at that and let's wait a few weeks from now and see if it makes any progress. And now let's have a look with the first batch. Taking the covers off. Let's have a closer look. It's having a hard time focusing at this close of a distance, so I'm just adding a riser just so it has the distance it needs to focus. There we go. So we're now looking at the first batch of the first greenhouse that I sowed. And from my initial visual inspection, I can see that only this column B, so B2, 3, and 4, only these cells have successful sprouts. There used to be a few sprouts right here in cell A1 for the Romeo, but I can't see any now. I think they have dried out and maybe died already. There are, there are a few new sprouts over here at B4, which is also elegance. So according to my notes, cells B1, B2, B3, and B4 are all elegance, this entire column. I'm trying to look at the other cells but I see no germination there. I think it has been over a month since I sowed this, harvested and sown this. And I remember that I harvested various seed maturity across many plants. The results are consistent. It looks like only the elegance have successfully germinated. So there must be something about the other hybrids. Maybe they are not fertile enough. I'm not really sure yet. I have no, I have very li little insights into this. I haven't been germinating Echeveria seeds for that long yet. There's little for me to add. But again, this call of Echeveria elegance look to be quite successful, especially particularly 2 and 3, B2 and 3. And from what I wrote here, the seeds are slightly wet. They are sticky. They are white. That's the common factor among these three. For my future exploits, I might have to look into that type of seed maturity. And of course, at the same time, I might have to do a lot of tests with various species and even um, hybrids, cultivars, just to know which ones are more fertile and which ones aren't. And I can go from there. Right now, they all have a pair of leaves. These are just the initial uh, pair of leaves from germination. And the next step from here is to hope that they produce a third leaf. I think that's the next frontier here. As soon as they produce a third leaf, that's a sign that they're, they're a step closer towards being established and I would be able to rest easier. Right now, when they only have two leaves, they're still quite sensitive. They would easily die if I let it dry for too long. We're getting towards the end of spring now and on some days it gets too hot and I find that uh, this and I find that my medium my substrate gets dry rather quickly and I find that I would have to mist this container once every day or every other day so yeah it's starting to turn into micromanagement and I'm afraid I don't have the resources to stay on top of it for now but I'm happy that I've gotten this far so Here's to hoping this is a success and 
I'll see you in the next update. Bye.